Hello friends, welcome back to the part 5 of this tutorial series. Uh, in the previous 4 videos, we have learned how we can uh, create a new project, set up our XAMPP environment to run on SSL, install WordPress, WooCommerce and query the REST API using Postman. Okay, So in this uh, video, we will browse through the folder structure and the components that we get out of the box when we uh, build or create a new project using the tabs starter template okay so i have loaded the project with my ide that's php storm and i've navigated to the who sharp who sharp uh, project folder here okay so inside the root folder you will see uh, these uh, folders which which you which which always come whenever you build a an app with angular so we have the node modules folder we have the e2e folder and the source folder apart from that we have the angular angular.dsn file which stores the configuration data here we also have this new capacitor.config.json file this this was uh, placed there because we chose the capacitor flag okay if you remember we used dash dash capacitor in the end okay so this stores your android uh, configuration uh, so this will be used when you build your app your ionic app into a native mobile app okay then we have this ionic.config.json file and rest is very very familiar in case if you have used angular before so we have the package.json file which has the list of your dependencies and dev dependencies okay, that also includes your ionic if you see here ionic core ionic angular okay so i'm using the version number five the, the latest one okay so that's about it here let's check what we have inside the source folder so in the source folder we have the regular app folder assets folder environment folder but now we have a new theme folder here okay so if you check let's let's check this later let's check the index file okay you see it's it's pretty much the same we have the app root configured here this is coming from your app component which is uh, defined here so this is the selector app root which is been used here okay nothing nothing changed much we have the main ts file which, which bootstraps your application okay polyfills all those things so inside the uh, theme file you have a variable dot scss which contains the variable uh, for different colors like your primary color secondary color tertiary success warning danger and dark all those things you have a, another mode the dark mode or dark scheme which are present here in this section okay so in case we want to uh, create your own custom colors you can use this root selector and put a new custom color in the global.scss file here and that will be uh, applied globally that, that can be accessed globally okay and the documentation is the steps are given in the documentation the official ionic documentation there next we have the app let's expand it inside assets we have nothing much environment we have the fraud one and the dev one okay pretty standard stuff close these two as well in the app folder <coughs> we have few folders already created for us okay and these are uh, been used for the tab na tabbed navigation so let me show you let me quickly open the terminal here run ionic serve okay so just a sec so you can also use ng serve but for ionic i prefer using ionic serve as it runs the server on a different port the port number is 8100 so just hit enter it will it will spin up the development server and as you can see the port number is 8100 give it a few seconds to compile the project and that should 
open it up in the browser of your choice so in my case i'm using edge and i will be using edge for all the development throughout the throughout the course but you can use any browser of your choice preferably chrome firefox or edge so just wait for a few more minutes give it some time it's compiling So for the first time it, will, it might take some time because it's compiling every single file in the, in the project okay okay so now it's up and running so i'll press f12 on my keyboard to bring up the developers tool and i'll use this responsive uh, mode so that i can have a mobile view here right uh, so I will be using this browser view only for the majority of the uh, tutorial series because this is quicker and easy to debug and all those things. Right. So <clears throat> you see here in this home page, there are three, the three tabs at the bottom and the tab one is selected and you can identify the selected tab by this blue color. So if you click on tab two, the tab two contents are shown similarly tab three each one tab has a different logo and a different uh, name here so this is uh, derived from this tabs component let me just close or minimize it so this tabs folder is your main uh, folder which is uh, uh, what do you call building the the tab layout the tab layout using this ion tabs uh, selector or element this is the ionic element and in the app module we also have this new ionic module but for root imported okay so this uh, gives us the ability to use ionic uh, components in our markup so we have this tab bar element three of them each representing one tab here tab one tab two tab three you can rename it anything you want let's say shop uh, my account and the last one for my project I will have it labeled as cart so save the changes it will automatically recompile and rerun the project so now you have shop my account cart okay and you can also change the label to cart and if you don't know the name of the icon what you can do you can go to the official docs here uh, ionic docs api <coughs> go to search for ion icons here and search for account or maybe user i'll use this one so it's person out and simply click on this it will copy to the clipboard go here and replace the stuff from one stuff here with the one you pop it for shop i will have something like shop this one price tag outline copy go here and place it save the changes go to your browser so we're all set okay you can also uh, change the heading element here or the title here but that will be under your tab one component okay because that's fetched from the tab one page but before i go there i would like to show you something that the name of these folders tab one tab two tab three they matter okay so if i change the name here to let's say test okay and hit refactor okay so now if i save the changes my app will fail well ideally it should fail okay so i have an error in my tabs routing module go there so it's updated there 
line 20 save the changes maybe type something and save it again so we comply compile the changes and here if you go get the console okay you have errors here because there is no route matching this URL the reason being that the folder name that you put here should match what you have in the tab name if I change it to test save the changes then I can go back here you see it works now so make sure whenever you make a change in that folder name you should update the tab attribute here with the corresponding name okay so I'll keep it as tab 3 it doesn't matter for me oh, not the tabs on the test one sorry tab 3 refactor it's done tab 3 save the changes okay go back here reload works uh, let's see yeah, something is not updated yet mm, let's check the routing so I need to put tab 3 save tab 3 save compiled so now if you go back to this URL segment. Oh, okay. So it's tab three here. Save the changes. Go back there. Now it works back. Okay. So this is a crucial information that you might overlook while creating the tabbed component. So make sure you always keep the names <coughs> same here, at least for the tab uh, elements. Okay. And if you see here that we have a tab bar, okay, which is enclosing all of all of my tab buttons, okay, and the slot is chosen as bottom. So we have two options, uh, I believe. So if you just go to the documents, ion tab bar here, ion tab st tab bar, okay. So we have a slot here slot attribute where is it uh, in here we have bottom so let's see if I if I can all if I, if I can put top here and save this does it go up it does indeed see my menu has gone to the top tab menu but generally it's it's always at the bottom so choose bottom here we compile there we go okay so inside the tab uh, <coughs> tab one tab two tab three folder we have different pages so in in our regular ionic in regular angular app rather we have components okay you can also have build your own components and use them here instead of pages that is also allowed you can have simple html or simple uh, custom components and that will work as well these are special components uh, which are created by ionic framework or, or the ionic team i mean okay so a page if you see here if i go to the page of a ts file it's a component only okay it has a selector a template url a style url style for everything but it is named as page.ts instead of your component.ts okay that's the only difference it has its own routing module okay so you can have uh, children here children routes okay like that you can have your own custom css code here okay similarly for tab 2 we have tab 2.page and tab 3 we have tab 3.page okay anything you want to update like the title header can go to that respective tab page and put here my card okay save the changes go back to the tab we'll have it here we will explore all these in detail in our upcoming videos so i want i just wanted you to show 
the folder structure here and I hope you learn something uh, cool out of it so please give it a thumbs up if, if you are liking the, the tutorial series and I would appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and leave your comments in the comment section below before I end this video I would like to comment my changes so I have my uh, local git running here <clears throat> so I'll give it a name my set message uh, initial comment okay and these are the default file I mean everything is part of my uh, what do you call git so default change list so I'll uh, well, commit the changes so we are done I'll upload this code in my github repo and I'll share the repo link in the description of this video so please make sure to uh, copy the code from there in case you you are facing some issues with the CLI or with the project generation okay and I'll see you in the next video and I'll use a full screen mode like this a presentation mode uh, like this so that you guys can see the content in a better manner okay so till then uh, please create this project and be ready with the fun stuff so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye bye